Hi and welcome back. I'm going to do a tutorial on just a quick fresh face that you can apply with your makeup. If you're a person like myself who does not wear makeup every day or who do who thinks they look weird when they put on too much makeup. Um, I do just a quick um, few steps and I'm out the door but you know it, it makes you look a little more awake, a little more fresh and um, if you're like me in your 30s you know that with time certain things start to change namely with your eyes um, and your hair so um, right now I have on a wig and um, whenever I do wear a wig it has to be really thin and natural looking because I don't like to look like a wig head basically but um, whenever you're going to wear a wig or a hair weave in my opinion you should always do your eyebrows there's nothing like a person with very thin, sparse eyebrows and this thick, full head of hair. It looks too obvious. Your hair wouldn't be that thick if your eyebrows was that thin. So, um, one of the things I like to focus on is just to always make sure whenever you're going to put on any lipstick, any mascara, or eyeliner, or um, foundation, always, always enhance your eyebrows or um, fill in your eyebrows. What I'm going to do today is just to do a quick. Um, video on how to basically put a, a few pieces of makeup on and be out the door and still look good. What I'm going to start with is uh, MAC Cosmetics. It's a studio fix. I'm going to invert the camera so you can see this up close. That's Studio MAC. And basically with MAC they have this um, which looks really good and it's kind of like a uh, um, all you can get in this one container. It's like it's a powder, but when you put it on, it has a lot of coverage. So it covers a lot of your flaws without you having to do all those other steps. So this is called um, Studio Fix, and it's in a number NC45. So what I want to do is you want to take your um, makeup brush, put it on. I do my eyes first because I have dark eyes, dark circles, so I'm just going to lightly put that in just to give a leave the dog alone, Riley. Just put it all over. And this is just when you're getting ready to run out the house and you don't want to look bad. You know, when you start to um, get a little older, you may not need to wear makeup, but it always looks good if you put on a little something to show a little effort. And again, it it just helps. It helps you to look a little more vibrant. That's just something you naturally lose as time goes on. So it's nothing to be ashamed of if you wear a little makeup. But basically, that's it. I just put a little on my neck just to so it won't be a oh her neck looks a different color than her face type of thing so that's that it takes off all the discoloration basically then next what I do is I do my brows and what you're going to need for that is like an angle brush if you can see that this is just an angle brush that you can use for eyeliner eyebrows any contouring you want to do that requires fine lines so I take that and either you can use a you can use, which my daughter just ran off with, Riley took mommy's makeup. Ah. Well, anyways, you can use, you. I'll use this one. Um, This is a MAC, this is also from MAC, it's, it's, it's a eyeshadow, but I use it for my brows. Um, and I'll put it up close for you here. It's just MAC, and it's, it, it's X, wait a minute, MAC Espresso Matte. You also want to get this, if you're like me, African American, and you have dark skin, there's a lot of things you can use to contour your nose, um, which I'll do a whole other video on contouring your nose um, to make it appear a different shape or size. But with this MAC um, Espresso Matte, uh, shadow, you can do your brows with this if you want to wear brown brows. Now, 
you're just going to dab that on there and tap it so that the makeup doesn't fall on your cheeks, which is what it often does. And then you want to go in and accentuate your brows. And what I'm going to do is, after I put a small amount of this color on, I'm also going to go in and add an auburn color to it. Um, just because my hair is red and I like to, you know, uh, sometimes put a little in to blend with my hair color. So if you can see that, it, it makes your eyebrows stand out a bit more. But now I'm going to grab my brush or brow in auburn. And I've had this for a long time, so it's beginning to wear it has a hole in it. But it's an auburn color. You can't really see it on this video. But um, I'm going to go in and really de uh, define the shape of the brows with this. Make them a little bigger. And you want to bring your eyebrows to the edge of your eye, or where your eye starts, basically. Your eye and then where your nose. It's like on the side of your um, nose, but at the right where your crease of your um eye starts. So I'm going to put that, bring my eyebrows over a little bit, brush it on. And if you have any hairs um, that don't fit into this mold that you've done with your brows, you just want to pluck them out. Yeah, it hurts in the beginning, but then you get used to it. You want to kind of make your eyebrows the same shape but naturally, everyone has one brow that's lower or higher than the other. There is no such thing as a perfect matching set of eyebrows. And if you see it, that means they were either enhanced cosmetically with permanent cosmetics or the person works on their eyebrows like I do. So you see how I brought those in and they don't match perfectly, but they look good. They stand out and... You just want to go and wipe anything that doesn't fit in and brush it like that. Then next, I'm just going to add some mascara, which is, this is a Chanel mascara. It is Le Volume de Chanel. So, I'm just going to use that because it really defines my lashes. If you look at my lashes, it looks like I don't have any. But once I put this on... And you want to spin it outwards, side to side, and then out. Go underneath, side to side, and then twist it. Underneath, twist. Underneath, twist. And so you get every lash, and then you want to go on top and swirl it up to get all the clumps out. And then back underneath to push them back out. And then I got a little on my eye there. Let's get that off. You see the difference? I don't know if you can see the difference or not, but it's just something slight. You're not trying to do a full face of makeup here. I'm just giving you something to make you look a little fresher. Then on top, get the excess off, and then back underneath to lift it again. Alright, so we got that. Now it looks like I have lashes. Alright, so we got that. Now we're going to, just for the lips, I'm going to put a little cheap lip gloss on. Just a little lip gloss. Give my lip a little shine. Just a, a really small amount because then I'm going to put on this lip color here, which is also Chanel. It's called Rouge Coco Shine, and it's in the number 83. So I'm going to put that on my lips to give myself a little more color. And this color just looks really natural, and it goes with my hair color. Okay, got that. So... Now at this point, you're pretty much looking good and you're ready to go unless you want to add some eyeliner. Um, I don't always do it because 
it just takes me a while to apply my eyeliner um, because I use liquid liner and you have to be really careful when applying it because it will be a disaster if it, if it gets elsewhere but basically this is just my I'm gonna run out of the house look you have your brows you have your lips you have your lashes and you don't look as sleepy and tired and you're ready to run out the house and you look like you got a little rest so thanks for watching and tune in to see how I do my tutorial on contouring my nose which um, basically makes your nose look a little nar more narrow and a little less bulbous at the end and look a little smaller so I'm going to do that next but this is just your regular fresh, fresh face makeup thank you for watching and see you on the next video bye bye